So hi everyone and welcome back once again to another session of PIB 247 where we are going to do some more important questions from the PIB news which are relevant for all the government exams and especially for the upcoming NABAD grade examination right and in today's session we are going to talk about the news from the 6th of July to 11th of July so as you all know thoda sa backlog reh gaya tha so I am covering that backlog and through these sessions so, today 11 July will be finished, and after that, what will happen will be covered in the upcoming sessions, right? And in uh, these six days, there was no news from these six days. And from these six days, only 22 questions are there. So, in today's session, we are going to cover 22 questions. And today's session, we are going to cover 22 questions. But believe me, all the questions are very, very important. So, we are going to cover 22 questions. But believe me, all the questions are very, very important. So, please focus on today's session. All right. So, let's begin with the session without any delay, guys. But before we begin. If you want to have the PDF of this session, then you can join the Telegram channel. The link is provided in the description. There is a Telegram channel's link in the description. You can join that. There you can get the, this PDF. And you can download it right now because if uh, there is extra information, hogi, so you would be able to write it down. right? And if you want to have the all-round preparation, you can download the Anujindu lab from the Google Play Store. And now let's move ahead to question number one. Open Network for Digital Commerce has organized a grand hackathon to help innovators in solving the e-commerce challenges in the agriculture ecosystem. With which of the following organizations the hackathon was organized? I hope the question is clear. Basically, this question is regarding a hackathon which was organized by Open Network for Digital Commerce. But before moving to the answer, let's talk about Open Network for Digital Commerce. What is this by the way? So remember guys, it is a section eight companies under company registered under companies act of 2013. Now, what are the section eight companies by the way? So these are the not for profit companies, right? These are the not for profit companies and it was established by DPIIT, which was under the ministry of commerce and industry headed by Mr. Piyush Goel, right? This uh, non-profit organization was uh, incorporated on 31st December 2021. The initial investment was given by Quality Council of India and Protein e -GOV Technologies Limited. Right now, you must be wondering why government incorporated this company. What was the need? So, the objective of ONDC is to develop open e-commerce platform. Now, what is the meaning of open e-commerce, guys? So, remember this open e-commerce. This concept allows the buyers and the sellers to connect and transact with each other online. No matter what other application they use. Let's say if you are Amazon pe buyer or seller. Ho. So with the help of open e-commerce, you would be able to connect with the seller in case you are a buyer and you would be able to connect with the buyer in case you are a seller. All right. And this hackathon was organized in collaboration with Nabad. Option D is the correct answer. Dr. G.R. Chintala is the chairperson of Nabad. I hope you all know this and Nabad is headquartered in Mumbai, right? Nabad was established in the year 1982 on the recommendation of B. Sivaraman committee, right? Option D is the correct answer. Moving ahead to question number two, a report titled as take home ration good practices across the state uh, slash union territories has been released. The report presents a set of good and innovative practices adopted in the implementation of the take home ration value chain by the states and UTs. With which of the following organizations Niti Aayog has released the report? So you just have to identify the name of the organization with which this report has been released. Because in, from this report, uh, I believe if there is an objective question, then it will be this. If any objective question will come from this report, this, the question will be this only. That which organization has launched this report or in collaboration with which organization Niti Aayog has launched this report. right? Remember, Niti Aayog has released this report in collaboration with World Food Program, which is headquartered in Rome. And Rome, of course, is in Italy. And as the question already told you guys that this report presents a set of good and innovative practices, which are followed by the states and UTs to the uh, for effective implementation of take home ration initiative. Now, this is nothing new. Take home ration is the ICDS ke andar government ration. Deti hai, right? So, government of India provides take home ration under the supplementary nutrition component of integrated child development services and ye jo initiative hai, it is there to uh, you know fill the gap in nutrition among children as well as the pregnant and lactating women right now these are two, two, two important facts from this report so this report says that there is a need to further strengthen this uh, take home ration value chain 
in order to achieve the nutritional targets in a time bound manner right and also there is a need to develop the quality of uh, this take home ration initiative right so we we have to ensure quality in thr where the entire thr value chain must ensure quality transparency and efficiency right and isse zyada padhne ki zarurat nahi hai is report mein and therefore the correct answer is option d world food program is the correct answer moving ahead to question number 3 very very important question definitely a question is coming in your exam consider the following statements with respect to startup ecosystem ranking of states and you have to identify the incorrect statement here so this was the third edition of uh, the startup uh, ranking which has been released by ministry of commerce and industry the first edition was launched in the year 2018 now why this index has been launched so the objective of this index is the, of this index is to encourage states and union territories to work towards easing out the regulations to promote the startups in the respective states and uts right so as i told you the first edition was launched in 2018 and this year in the third edition this was the third edition remember this in the third edition 24 states and seven uts participated right the index has seven broad reform areas consisting of 26 action points now you don't have to remember these 26 action points but you have to remember the seven reform areas which are institutional support fostering innovation and entrepreneurship access to market incubation support funding support mentorship support and capacity building of enablers so these are the seven reform areas uh, on the basis of which this report has been released right now the states has been states have been categorized into two categories number one is category a which includes all the states and uts with a population of more than 1 crore right and in category b all the states and uts with population of less than 1 crore are there all uts are there except delhi and all northeastern states are there except assam and delhi is not in uh, category b because delhi has more than 1 crore population so it is included in category a right and similar is the case with assam and now let's talk about the ranking so these are the grading these are the rankings of uh, these are the category a states which come uh, which come under these uh, grading these are the category b states which come under these grading now again the rankings have been not provided right uh, the government has uh, the ministry has provided the list of states which are the best performers the top performers the leaders and other two as well jo ki hum agle side mein padhenge So the best performer in category A are Gujarat and Karnataka. In category B, it is Meghalaya. Top performers in category A: Kerala, Maharashtra, Odisha, and Telangana. In category B, Jammu and Kashmir. Leaders uh, in category A are Assam, Punjab, Tamil Nadu, UP, and Uttarakhand. While in category B, it is Arunachal Pradesh, Andaman and Nicobar Islands, and Goa. Right? In the category of aspiring leaders, there are Delhi, Chhattisgarh. मध्य प्रदेश एंड राजस्थान एंड अमंग कैटेगरी बी स्टेट्स देर आर चंडीगढ़ दादर एंड नागर हवेली एंड दमन एंड दीयू हिमाचल प्रदेश मणिपुर नागालैंड पुडुचेरी एंड त्रिपुरा एमर्जिंग स्टार्टअप इको सिस्टम्स में देर आर आंध्र प्रदेश एंड बिहार एंड इन कैटेगरी बी देर आर लद्दाख एंड मिजोरा नाउ यू मस्ट भी वंडरिंग यार इतने सारे हम कैसे हाथ करेंगे सो यू डोंट हैव टू रिमेंबर द लिस्ट ऑफ ऑल द स्टेट्स इन कैटेगरी ए एंड बी यू जस्ट हैव टू रिमेंबर Uh, those categories or those grading where you have one or two states only because generally usi mein se question fasega aake like this category b best performer category b top performer right emerging startup ecosystem ke kahan pe hai do hi hai bas andhra pradesh aur bihar in category a states while in category b again there are only two ladakh and mizoram so such type of information you have to remember from these uh, rankings right and now let's come back to the question you have to identify the incorrect statement The index has been released by Ministry of Finance. No, the index has been released by Ministry of Commerce and Industry, headed by Mr. Piyush Goel. He is also the Minister of Textiles and the Minister of Consumer Affairs, Food, Food and Public Distribution, and of course he is also the leader of Rajya Sabha. Total twenty-four states and seven UTs participated in this year's edition. बिल्कुल सही बात है. And among category B states, Assam is the best performer. In fact, Assam is not among the category B. It is. among the category a state so this statement is incorrect one and three should be the correct answer guys option c all right i hope this question is clear and now let's move ahead to question number 4 a three day seminar has been organized by ministry of education headed by dharmendra pradhan 
and he is also the minister of skill development and entrepreneurship to deliberate on how the implementation of nep 2020 can be taken further across the country the question is very simple where has the seminar been organized so remember the seminar was organized in varanasi which is of course in uttar pradesh and the name of the seminar is akhil bharatiya shiksha samagam right akhil bharatiya shiksha samagam is the name of the uh, seminar which was conducted at varanasi in up and if you guys remember varanasi is the lok sabha constituency of the honorable prime minister of india right now the seminar has been organized to deliberate on how we can take uh, ahead how we can go ahead with the proper and effective implementation of a uh, new education policy of 2020 and it has been organized by ministry of education in collaboration with university grants commission and banaras hindu university bhu right and during the seminar there was a varanasi declaration on higher education was uh, adopted uh, which showcased india's extended vision and commitment to help achieve the goals of higher education system in the country right so therefore the correct answer is got uh, is uh, varanasi option a is the correct answer question number 5 which ministry has organized haryali mahotsav to create awareness about the importance of trees in sustaining not only the life of present generations but also to secure the future of the forthcoming generation so i believe haryali mahotsav hai so you can easily answer this question the correct answer is ministry of environment forest and climate change which is headed by mr bhupendra yadav bhupendra yadav theek okay? hai and talking more about this initiative so it has been launched to create awareness about importance of trees and to sustain life not only for the present generation but also for the upcoming generations right this festival was organized by ministry by the ministry of environment forest and climate change in collaboration with state governments police institutions and schools of delhi right and there were plantations drives which were conducted uh, with participation of 75 nagarvans throughout the countries and 75 police stations and schools in delhi and ncr right but if any question will come in your examination the question will be this only right the correct answer in ministry of forest environment ministry of environment forest and climate change right option c is the correct answer let's talk about question number 6 then finance minister nirmala sitaraman has chaired the first meeting of apex monitoring authority nash of national industrial corridor development program the program is being implemented by nicdc which is national industrial corridor development corporation right the corporation is under the administrative control of which ministry right this is very very important question guys i believe this question must come in your examination so the news is that the finance minister nirmala sitaraman has chaired the first meeting so this was the first meeting and that is why it is the important part right first meeting of apex monitoring authority of national industrial corridor development program now this meeting was conducted to review the progress of this particular program which is an industrial corridor infrastructure development program uh, being implemented across the country right and as the question already told you that this program is being implemented by national industrial corridor development corporation theek okay? hai and jo ye apex monitoring authority hui hai iske andar kon kon aate hain so first of all finance minister is the chairperson minister in charge of minister of commerce and industry piyush goyal abhi hain मिनिस्टर ऑफ रेलवे अश्विनी वैष्णव अभी के लिए मिनिस्टर ऑफ रोड ट्रांसपोर्ट एंड हाईवे नितिन गडकरी मिनिस्टर ऑफ शिपिंग मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ शिपिंग इज हेडेड बाय आई एम फॉरगेटिंग द नेम ऑफ दैट पर्सन ओके आई टेल यू लेटर वाइस चेयरमैन ऑफ नीति आयोग इज आल्सो देयर एंड द न्यूली अपॉइंटेड पर्सन वाइस चेयरपर्सन इज सुमन बेरी राइट चीफ मिनिस्टर्स फ्रॉम सिक्स स्टेट्स आर देयर विच आर गुजरात हरियाणा कर्नाटका मध्य प्रदेश महाराष्ट्र एंड उत्तराखंड एंड मिनिस्टर्स फ्रॉम सेवन स्टेट्स of bihar himachal pradesh uttar pradesh andhra pradesh kerala and rajasthan are there right so this is the uh, composition of apex monitoring authority jiski abhi meeting hui hai isme you guys have to remember the ministries which are included and of course the chairperson who is the chairperson finance minister of india is the chairperson and kon kon si ministries iske andar included hai that you have to remember these are ministry ministry of commerce and industry railways road transport and highway and ministry of shipping i am forgetting the name of minister of shipping adani yaad nahi aa raha all right now let's talk about uh, national industrial corridor development corporation jo ki is program ko implement karta hai 
तो रिमेंबर गाइज इट इज अ स्पेशल पर्पज व्हीकल अंडर द एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव कंट्रोल ऑफ डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ प्रमोशन ऑफ इंडस्ट्री एंड इंटरनल ट्रेड दैट इज डी पी and this department works under the administrative control of ministry of commerce and industry right it carries out the project development activities and coordinates the implementation of the program jiske bare mein humne abhi baat kari until now under this program four greenfield smart cities have been developed right and these are the four greenfield smart cities which are dholera special investment region in gujarat chendra bitkin industrial area in aurangabad of maharashtra Integrated Industrial Township of Greater Noida in Uttar Pradesh, and again Integrated Industrial Township of Vikram Udyogri in Ujjain, which is in, of course Madhya Pradesh, right? <clears throat> so that's it about this news. And now let's come back to the question. So the National Industrial Corridor Development Corporation is under the administrative control of Ministry of Commerce and Industry. Option B is the correct answer. क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन पे आ जाओ मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ हाउसिंग एंड अर्बन अफेयर्स लॉन्च्ड अ पोर्टल इन 2021 टू लोकेट दी प्लेसेस इन एनसीआर दैट इज द नेशनल कैपिटल रीजन द पोर्टल वाज इनिशियली लॉन्च्ड फॉर एनसीआर पार्टिसिपेटिंग स्टेट्स एंड द ऑफिस ऑफ एनसीआर प्लानिंग बोर्ड राइट यू हैव टू नेम द पोर्टल ठीक है सो द नेम ऑफ द पोर्टल गाइज इज परिमन तो वाई इट इज इन न्यूज देन ठीक है वाई इट इज इन न्यूज बिकॉज इनिशियली द पोर्टल वॉज लॉन्च फॉर एनसीआर यू नो एन सी आर प्लानिंग बोर्ड ठीक है एंड दी ऑफिस ऑफ नेशनल एंड दी एन सी आर पार्टिसिपेटिंग स्टेट बट नाउ इट हैज बीन मेड पब्लिक एंड दैट इज वाई इट इज इन न्यूज राइट सो इट वॉज इनिशियली लॉन्च फॉर यूज बाई एन सी आर पार्टिसिपेटिंग स्टेट एंड ऑफिस ऑफ एन सी आर प्लानिंग बोर्ड एंड इट हैज बीन मेड पब्लिक नाउ राइट द पर्पज ऑफ लॉन्चिंग दिस पोर्टल इन द ईयर टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी वॉज द इफेक्टिव यूटिलाइजेशन ऑफ रिमोट सेंसिंग एंड जी आई एस टेक्नोलॉजी फॉर द नेशनल कैपिटल रीजन This portal was developed by National Informatics Center, and it tells all the people which are using it that what and where exist in the national capital region, right? And what is the full form of Pariman? Of course, there is a full form portal for analytical regional information and mapping of NCR, right? So, therefore, the correct answer is what option E, Pariman. Moving ahead to question number eight, which ministry has signed an MOU with Central TB Division of Ministry of Health and Family Welfare? for interministerial collaboration and strategic partnerships with the aim to eliminate tb in india by the year 2025 now i hope you guys remember this fact that the target to eliminate tb is the year 2025 5 years ahead of the global target which was set by who right and uh, this ministry guys is ministry of panchayati raj this is very very important question ministry of panchayati raj headed by mr giriraj singh and giriraj singh is also the minister of rural development his lok sabha constituency is begusarai in bihar right has signed this mou with central tb division of ministry of health and family welfare to eliminate the tb by the year 2025 now what will ministry of panchayati raj do in this right in eliminating the tb kya karegi ministry of panchayati raj isme so remember this mou will pave the way for coordinated efforts at grassroots level because ministry of panchayati raj Uh, is you know coordinating the efforts of the panchayat so therefore the mou will pave the way for coordinated efforts at grassroots level to create mass awareness in rural areas to end stigma and discrimination associated with tuberculosis right and it will also help in utilizing the huge potential of nationwide network of panchayati raj institution so basically uh to taking uh, to take the efforts to take the efforts at the grassroots level to eliminate the tb by the year 2025 this mou has been signed all right and therefore the correct answer is option b ministry of panchayati raj moving ahead to question number 9 in which state ministry of electronics and it has inaugurated two new internet exchange points of national internet exchange of india right so these two new internet exchange points have been inaugurated of course to you know expand the internet connectivity to expand the internet and broadband connectivity across the state jahan pe launch hua hai now the state guys is west bengal the state is west bengal and where in west bengal these two internet exchange points have been launched so these are uh, uh, durgapur and bardhman where in west bengal durgapur and bardhman these are the two places where these two internet exchange points have been launched right option e is the correct answer and there is no need to go into more details of this news because 
फालतू की बात है बस पी में लिखी थी विच इज नॉट इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर एग्जामिनेशन ठीक है एंड फ्रॉम नाउ ऑन जितने भी क्वेश्चन है वो सारे के सारे बिल्कुल स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड क्वेश्चन है जिसमें हमें डिटेल में जाने की जरूरत नहीं है राइट तो मैंने हमेशा कहता हूँ कि प्लीज डोंट डू गधा स्टडी ऑलवेज डू द स्मार्ट स्टडी राइट तो यू हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई द स्कीम बींग इम्प्लीमेंटेड बाई मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी टू अट्रैक्ट टैलेंटेड स्कूल स्टूडेंट्स एट एन अर्ली एज टू स्टडी साइंस एंड परस्यू रिसर्च करियर अपार्ट फ्रॉम फॉस्टरिंग कल्चर ऑफ इनोवेशन अमंग दैम द स्कीम केटर्स टू स्कूल चिल्ड्रन इन द एज ग्रुप ऑफ टेन टू फिफ्टीन ईयर्स एंड स्टडिंग इन क्लास सिक्स टू टेंथ नाउ टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस स्कीम तो इस स्कीम के बारे में आपको इतना ही पढ़ लेना है वही काफी है दैट द स्कीम इज बींग इम्प्लीमेंटेड बाई मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी दैट द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ द स्कीम इज टू अट्रैक्ट टैलेंटेड स्कूल चिल्ड्रन टू स्टडी साइंस एंड परस्यू रिसर्च करियर रिसर्च एंड डेवलपमेंट करियर एंड द स्कीम केटर्स टू स्कूल चिल्ड्रन इन द एज ग्रुप ऑफ टेन टू फिफ्टीन ईयर्स स्टडिंग इन क्लास सिक्स टू टेंथ राइट द नेम ऑफ द स्कीम गाइज इज इंस्पायर मानक राइट Inspire Manak. It is a sub scheme under the Inspire scheme, which is being implemented by Ministry of Science and Technology. Right. So option A is the correct answer. And Manak has a full form as well. Million minds, million minds augmenting, million minds augmenting national aspirations, national aspirations, and knowledge. राइट मिलियन माइंड्स ऑगमेंटिंग नेशनल एस्पिरेशन एंड नॉलेज इज द फुल फॉर्म ऑफ मानक राइट क्वेश्चन नंबर इलेवन पे आ जाओ दिशन ऑफ वेबिनार सीरीज इग्नाइटिंग यंग माइंड रिजुवरेटिंग रिवर्स वॉज ऑर्गेनाइज बाई नेशनल मिशन फॉर क्लीन गंगा वट वॉज द थीम ऑफ दिस वेबिनार राइट एंड ऑफकोर्स दिनार वॉज कंडक्टेड टू डिस्कस हाउ वी कैन रेजुवरेट द रिवर्स ठीक है फॉर द एफर्ट्स फॉर रेजुवरेटिंग द रिवर्स दिस वेबिनार सीरीज वॉज कंडक्टेड राइट एंड दिस वॉज द एट एडिशन सो ये कुछ नया नहीं है एंड इट वॉज ऑर्गेनाइज बाई नेशनल मिशन फॉर क्लीन गंगा विद थीम एफोरेस्टेशन ऑप्शन सी इज द करेक्ट आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेल्व डैश इज अब बेस्ड पोर्टल फॉर इशूइंग ऑफ वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ लाइसेंसेज एंड रजिस्ट्रेशन सर्टिफिकेट्स इट इज अ पार्ट ऑफ वेरियस डिजिटल इनिशियटिव बींग टेकन बाई डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ टेलीकम्युनिकेशन यू हैव टू टेल द नेम ऑफ दिस पोर्टल तो हम इसके बारे में इसलिए पढ़ रहे हैं बिकॉज जो डिजिटल इंडिया वीक चल रहा था उसमें इसकी बात हुई थी सो दैट इज वाई वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट इट एंड द नेम ऑफ दिस पोर्टल गाइज इज सरल संचार ऑप्शन बी इज द करेक्ट आंसर सरल संचार इज द करेक्ट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन एंड रिमेंबर दिस इज द पोर्टल ऑफ डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ टेली कम्युनिकेशन राइट क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टीन पे आ जाते हैं द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ एनिमल हजबेंड्री एंड डेयरिंग हैज डेवलप्ड an online portal for animal husbandry infrastructure development fund very very important question this is a new portal and it it has not gone live till now but yes it has been de uh, developed to bahut hi jald isko live kar diya jayega this portal will facilitate online submission processing and monitoring with which of the following organizations the portal has been launched remember this uh, uh, this portal has been launched in collaboration with sidbi small industries development bank of india which is headquartered in lucknow and s raman is the chairperson of s raman is the chairperson of sidbi which of the following given targets is are correct with respect to the elimination of diseases okay this is very very important question and there was a seminar which was conducted uh, by the ministry of health and family welfare that seminar is not important but in that uh, news some targets were mentioned jo ki aapke exam mein puche ja sakte hain right so which targets are correct malaria 2030 correct tb 2025 and not 2020 uh, 2030 lymphatic filariasis 2030 sahi hai kala azar has to be eliminated by 2023 the earlier target year to eliminate kala azar was 2017 which was extended recently to 2023 right so the correct targets are 1 and 3 right So option E is the correct answer to this question because we have to identify the correct targets. Moving ahead to question number fifteen, which of with which of the following international organizations, Department of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare, has organized a one-day stakeholder consultation on public-private partnership in digital agriculture? So this was a you know stakeholder consultation on how we can involve, uh, how we can use public-private partnership in the area of digital agriculture. and how we can digitize the agriculture ecosystem of india right now this was organized in collaboration with 
वर्ल्ड इकोनॉमिक फोरम ऑप्शन ए इज द करेक्ट आंसर विच इज हेडक्वार्टर्ड इन कोलोनी विच इज इन स्विटरलैंड ऑफकोर्स ऑप्शन ए इज द करेक्ट आंसर नाउ कैन यू टेल मी हु इज द चेयरपर्सन ऑफ वर्ल्ड इकोनॉमिक फोरम राइट डाउन इन द कमेंट्स हु इज द चेयरपर्सन ऑफ वर्ल्ड इकोनॉमिक फोरम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव रिफॉर्म्स एंड पब्लिक ग्रीवेंसेज हैज ऑर्गेनाइज्ड अ टू डे रीजनल कॉन्फ्रेंस ऑन द थीम ब्रिंगिंग सिटीजन्स ऑन्टरप्रेनर्स एंड गवर्नमेंट क्लोजर फॉर द गुड गवर्नेंस द कॉन्फ्रेंस इज एन एफर्ट टू ब्रिंग द गवर्नमेंट एंड सिटीजन्स क्लोजर थ्रू वेरियस एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव रिफॉर्म्स एट सेंटर स्टेट एंड डिस्ट्रिक्ट लेवल विद विच स्टेट गवर्नमेंट द कॉन्फ्रेंस हैज बिन ऑर्गेनाइज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन दिस वॉज ऑर्गेनाइज बाय डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव रिफॉर्म्स एंड पब्लिक ग्रवेंसेज in collaboration with the state government of karnataka option b is the correct answer and karnataka chief minister is basavraj bommai basavraj bommai and uh, governor is mr tawarchand gehlot right tawarchand gehlot option b is the correct answer question number 17 with which of the following industry bodies department of agriculture and farmers welfare has organized a conference on scope of public private partnership in agriculture now in this question and the previous question please don't get confused this was a consultation on ppp in digital agriculture while this uh, was the conference on ppp in overall agriculture okay so this industry body is fikki option d is the correct answer right the first batch of trainees under pilot project for skilling tribal youth uh, rural tribal technical training has been concluded the pilot project to provide skill training to rural tribal youths was launched in may 2022 under sansadiya sankul pariyojana of madhya pradesh right the trainees were selected from six states which are madhya pradesh chatis gujarat uh, gujarat rajasthan maharashtra and which uh, sixth state so remember the sixth state was odisha option e is the correct answer and uh, there is no need to go into the details at all because डिटेल कुछ अवेलेबल भी नहीं है बिकॉज ये स्टेट लेवल स्कीम है तो द डिटेल्स आर नॉट रिक्वायर्ड इट इज एन इनोवेटिव वेब बेस्ड एप्लीकेशन सॉफ्टवेयर टूल विच यूटिलाइजेज स्टैंडर्ड टेम्पलेट्स मॉनिटर्स दी कोर्ट केसेज इन अ प्रो एक्टिव ट्रांसपेरेंट ट्रांसपेरेंट एंड इफेक्टिव मैनर दिस सॉफ्टवेयर टूल वॉज शो केस ड्यूरिंग द डिजिटल इंडिया वीक टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी टू बाय द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ लॉ एंड जस्टिस विच इज हेडेड बाय मिस्टर किरण रिजिजू Kiran Rijiju is the minister, so you have to identify this tool, right? So remember the name of the tool, guys, is Limbs. Limbs is the name of the uh, po uh, portal, or you can say the software tool. And there is a full form again, which is Legal Information, Legal Information Management and Briefing System, right? Do remember the full form as well. Legal Information Management and Briefing System is the full form. Option C is the correct answer. Question number twenty. My GOV is a citizen engagement platform launched by Government of India in two thousand and fourteen to promote the active participation of Indian citizens in their country's governance and development. And there is a app also, My GOV app, which was developed by NIC National Informatic Centre. But the question is, which state has recently launched its My GOV platform and become the eighteenth state to do so? So remember, the eighteenth uh, state. To launch its own My GOV platform is Gujarat. Option B is the correct answer. Question number twenty-one: Which of the following organizations, in collaboration with Agriculture Today Group, has organized India's very first Animal Health Summit into in New Delhi? Now, in this summit, there were discussions regarding how we can improve the animal health, how we can eradicate the chronic animal diseases, uh, how we can provide a healthy life to our animals. Right, and this was organized. Uh, by indian chamber of food and agriculture in collaboration with agriculture today group option a is the correct answer and guys the last question for today but not the least which ministry is organizing the swanidhi mahotsav a cultural festival for celebrating the success of pm swanidhi scheme now if you know that which scheme is implementing the scheme uh, which ministry is implementing the scheme you can easily answer this question the scheme is being implemented by ministry of housing and urban affairs and therefore the swanidhi mahotsav uh, has been organized by ministry of housing and urban affairs option c is the correct answer and this ministry is headed by mr hardeep singh puri and he is also the minister of petroleum and natural gas all right option c is the correct answer so guys that's it for the session today i hope all the questions and their explanations are clear 
if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment section so thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next session on monday goodbye take care and god bless